Hi and welcome back to Train for Aptitude. Today we look at the second concept in the problems on clocks. The problem we have at hand is to find the reflex angle between the hands of a clock that is showing 10, 25. Our options are 180 degree, 192.5 degree, 195 degree, 197.5 degree. We could visualize the clock as shown. The hour hand is represented by the red arrow and the minutes hand by the orange arrow. Note that the minutes hand covers 360 degrees in 60 minutes while the hour hand covers 360 degrees in 12 hours and it also covers a certain distance every minute. Uh, the normal uh, angle would be the clockwise representation and therefore the reflex angle would be 360 minus the normal. The other way is also to calculate the anti-clockwise separation between the hour hand and the minutes hand. To begin solving the problem, the first step is to calculate the hour hand motions. 12 hours cover 360 degree, which means in one hour it covers 30 degree. Also, for every single minute, there is a certain motion in the hour hand, that is for 60 minutes it covers one hour that is 30 degrees and therefore for every minute it moves by half a degree. The next step is to calculate the minutes hand movements. So in 60 minutes it covers 360 degree which means in one minute it covers 6 degrees. Next we calculate the difference between the hour hand and the numeral 12 position. That is we have two hours between 10 o'clock and 12 o'clock that is 60 degrees. We calculate also the movement of this hour hand for 25 minutes that is 25 into half or 12 and half degrees. So the hour hand has moved further from 10 towards 11 o'clock and therefore we need to subtract this 12 and half degrees from the 60 degrees of separation between 10 o'clock and 12 o'clock that is 47 and half degrees. The next step is to calculate the distance between 12 o'clock or the numeral 12 and the minutes hand position that is 25 minutes. So we have 25 minutes into 6 degrees for every minute that is 150 degrees. Note here we have calculated the anti-clockwise separation between the hour hand and the minute hand that is also the reflex angle and therefore the answer is 197 and half degrees. To generalize, the first step is to calculate the hour hand motions. Note that for every hour it covers 30 degrees and for every minute it covers half a degree of motion. The next step is to calculate the minute hand movements. For every minute it covers 6 degrees. The next step is pretty challenging. To begin with, we calculate the distance between the time of our hand that is a o'clock and 12 multiplied by 30 degrees to find a value k. Note between this time the hand would have the minutes hand movements would have also helped the hour hand move further. Let us say b minutes and therefore the hour hand would have moved b into half a degree. Let us represent it by l. Therefore the actual separation between the hour hand between a and 12 o'clock is k minus l. The next step is simpler. We find the degrees of separation between 12 and the minutes hand that is the minutes into 6 degrees. We call it as m. In the last step we already have found the information that we need to find the reflex angle that is k minus l plus m. And that is the answer. Thank you for watching Train for Aptitude. Encourage us by subscribing to our YouTube channel and liking the Facebook page. You could also catch us on our website trainforaptitude.in.